Seven Eight Fight News here with the brother Mike Soul. What's up, bro? Hey, what's up, man? I'm ecstatic, man. Hey, man. It's clear. LeBron James, second world title. He's clearly, we have to bow down and admit, this man is better than Michael Jordan. Clearly. Yeah, man. I've I just been blind the last 20, 25 years. Man. I finally realized. Yeah, tonight convinced me, man. LeBron is the greatest player of all time, man. The greatest player. He has to be. You, Mike, when you take into consideration LeBron James is the first player in NBA history to win four MVPs, okay, under Pat Riley in Miami. How about that stat, Mike? Oh, wow. that's, that's, that's incredible, man. It's incredible, man. And I was just thinking, man, you know, look, Michael Jordan, he never played with Dwayne Wade. He never right. played with Ray Allen. That's right. He never played with, with uh, uh, Chris Bosh. You know, LeBron has. It's the only LeBron has. That's what makes LeBron better, you know? I mean, the, the facts are just the facts, you know? Absolutely. And, 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 and another stat for you, LeBron James is the first player to win an MVP. I mean, excuse me, he's the first player to win a championship in 2013. Michael Jordan never won a championship in 2013. Yeah, that's a fact right there, man. That's, that's true, man. And another thing, too, is, you know, LeBron, I think we're talking about his hairline and everything, but, hey, Jordan already went ball by the time LeBron... The barn age, that makes them better. That makes the barn better, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, Jordan never wore a headband either. So his champ, you got to figure. Jordan won six championships, but how how important were those rings if he never wore a headband? That's true, man. I never thought of it before, man. You know, you know, even though you know. People talking about Jordan's six championships, but like I said, LeBron won two. Two championships, man. Two. Right. Jordan won six. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, and only a fucking idiot would believe that six is more than two fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> fucking idiot, man. God damn. Jordan used to be the best, but LeBron is the best, man. LeBron had 35 points tonight in a final game. I mean... That has to be the most all-time, you know. I mean, yeah, Jordan had a couple. I think he had a game that scored 55, but everybody knows 35 is more important. It's more impressive than, you know, in 2013 to 55, or, you know, back in Jordan's day. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a whole other era, you know. 35 points a day is incredible, man. Yeah, and, and, and you got to look at it this way. Michael Jordan... As great as he was, and I'm not being a hater here, he was a great player. But Michael Jordan never weighed over 250 pounds and won a championship. Never. Yeah, that's true, man. Never. He never won the wheel with 250 pounds, man. You know? And the bar, like, you know, what, 7 foot 13, 618 <laughs> pounds now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's incredible, man. You know, dunking on point guards and blocking master splitter shot off the. Of yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, the, he's incredible, man. He's the best player I've ever seen. Now, my eyes have been open, you know. Absolutely. And you know what else, Mike? Um, a lot of people are going to be hating on LeBron right now. Uh, they, 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 they don't want to give LeBron his truest credit, you know. But the bottom line is this. I watched Michael Jordan's whole career. And I'm telling you right now, what I've seen in these finals against the San Antonio Spurs has been the greatest moment of my entire viewing of basketball life. Okay, LeBron James is a phenomenal fucking player. This guy, 250 plus pounds, dunking the basketball, running up and down the court with a headband on. Michael Jordan never wore a headband because he's a fucking coward. That's why. Yeah, and he never had the balls to play in Miami. You know, Miami, everybody knows Miami is the greatest uh, franchise of all time with their three NBA championships. You know, Celtics only got 17, Lakers got 16, but that's nothing compared to Miami's three. And, you know, it's just, you, if you want to get true basketball more, you got to play in Miami. If you're not playing Miami, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> 
it's crazy, man. I, I don't know when these guys gonna stop hating on LeBron, man. But the bottom line is, you know, I expect this video to get like a hundred thumbs down. You know, because these fucking Jordan fans just don't get it, okay? You want to live in the past, and you want to praise Michael Jordan, and some of these fucking idiots got the nerve to think that Kobe Bryant ever, ever was better than LeBron James. Let me tell you something. LeBron James is the only player in NBA history. See, listen, Michael Jordan never had a guy like Milo Ginobili to fucking stink up the fucking game and help him out, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> It has to be, man. And, you know, uh, to my recollection, because I know a lot of guys like Bruce Blitz are going to come out and say, hey, well, listen, Jordan was better than LeBron. But listen, Bruce, you have to admit, Bruce, LeBron James, <clears throat> excuse me, Michael Jordan has never, ever in his career played with Ray Allen. How about that one? Oh, man. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, you know, I just can't realize that's the way I am. You know, and I'm gonna tell you something else too. He also never had Bob McAdoo as a assistant coach. Uh, hey, excellent point. Excellent point. Yeah. And you know what? I, I didn't even think of that. And you know what? Michael Jordan never had a guy on his team hit a wide open shot with no shoe on like Mike Miller did in game six. That's another stat for you, all you Jordan lovers. Yeah. Yeah, you know. And, you know, people always talk about, you know, LeBron James and Sprint Runner. I mean, you know, look, man, it doesn't matter if LeBron, you know, scores 16 points and the team's up by, you know, uh, 25 points or whatever in a little run or whether he goes 0 for 7 when the team is down by 3. It's irrelevant. You know, all that matters is what the final stat say. If he has a triple-double, okay, what he shot? You know, that's what all that matters. You know, and Michael Jordan, you know, yeah, sure, he hit clutch shots. But, you know, it's, it's all about LeBron right now. And LeBron is what LeBron does, and LeBron is LeBron. And he's being told me that. He's being told me that. Everybody knows Skip Davis and Steve A. Strip are the greatest basketball minds of all time. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's absolutely right and exact, brother. And, you know, we're going to be the defenders of LeBron, his legacy. Because, you know, I tell you what, Michael Jordan, one thing about Jordan, Jordan, he knew when to go out there and score. He didn't need a pep talk. But LeBron, that's what makes him greater. Because LeBron needs a pep talk after game five. He needs a pep talk. He, he, needs his, he needs the media and the fans to motivate him to get him to go out there and do what he needs to do. And he also, he also Michael Jordan never had Mount Ginobili to, to stink up the game, okay? He, Michael Jordan never had Joey Crawford, okay? So, LeBron is clearly the best player in NBA history. Bottom line, if you don't like it, you can suck a cock. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? All right, Mike. Let's uh let's talk about the game for real. Uh, I don't know how many people gonna finish go get to this point in the video, but uh, what you uh what you think of the game? Uh, you know, and, and, you know, in all seriousness though, uh, I I applaud the Bron James for the second championship, uh, but. As usual, you know, things have been kept in perspective. Uh, he has a long way to go to be uh, anywhere near Jordan's stratosphere. Um, I still don't have him even a third stratosphere. He does, he does have a second championship, but to me, LeBron has to be more consistent, but particularly in game 
will be playing uh, more um, more established opponents, uh, particularly in the postseason. It still doesn't have a lot of memorable postseason moments. You know, most of the greats, they all have, especially Jordan. You know, everybody can name these games where Kobe and LeBron had these phenomenal individual performances, but they're almost always in the regular season. Yeah. All the legends I know of, they always spent their name in the postseason when it matters. Even guys like Bill Russell, who's not known as a scorer, uh, has had number of moments in the postseason. Um, but, you know, I, I do think that San Antonio, or more or less, Lance Nobley, who for San Antonio uh, the last two games, man. I, I, if it wasn't, I, I hate to just take it to the guy like this, but... Where's your movie, man? I, I don't know, man. It's, wow, this might be one of the worst performances for a quote-unquote star, you know, in a finals. I mean, this, this, might, be, this might even be more, uh, you know, I remember John Stock had a bad shooting game, uh, game seven, 1994 uh, finals with uh, the Houston Rockets and New York Knicks, but, I mean, Miles has really been sticking it up, you know, the last few uh Series, really, man. I, I don't know, man, but congratulations to Miami, though. Yeah, I say uh, congratulations to LeBron James. Uh, shout out to Ray Allen, my favorite player in NBA. Uh, shout out to Ray Allen for winning his second championship. And, um, you know, LeBron James uh, came out. He showed up tonight. He did what he was supposed to do. Um, Mount Ginobili, he needs to fucking just, uh, you know, I don't want to say nothing crazy, but listen, man. I'm very upset with Mount Ginobili right now. Game 6 and Game 7 were blown by Mano Ginobili, him and him alone. I don't care who else you point out, Mount Ginobili blew these games. Um, the man played like he, he had, he was getting paid to point shave or some shit. The man was turning the ball over in crucial points of the game with that big fucking Pippi Longstocking, Rumpelstiltskin nose of his. Fuck Mount Ginobili. I'm sick of this dude, man. Mount Ginobili suck ass. He needs to. He needs to fucking retire. Okay, get this guy out of here. He should have played Tracy McGrady. Uh, Popovich is an excellent coach, and I would never question his judgment. But you know. It's hard for me not to question it right now because Mount Ginobili, I do not understand why Popovich kept Ginobili in the game after game six when he clearly, clearly this motherfucker, something was wrong with him, okay? The man turned the ball over. I, I don't know what the fuck going on, but, you know. Yeah, he, yeah, he turned the ball over eight times. Uh, game six, but eight fucking times without point guard. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, when did Mount Ginobili become a point guard? When did this guy become a point guard? Why is he handling the ball running up and down the fucking court? Uh, you know, why isn't Tony Parker handling the ball? Why is Mount Ginobili, with his non-dribbling ass, handling the fucking ball? You know, but listen, this is not a hate video to the Miami Heat. We were just having fun with y'all. You know, uh, <clears throat> shout out to LeBron James for doing what he had to do. He did his thing. Uh, the Miami Heat, you know. Uh, so... We'll, we'll see y'all again uh, next NBA season, the opener. We'll do more basketball videos. But right as of right now, no fucking way in hell are you going to convince me that LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan. You can get the fuck out of here with that dumb shit. And on that note, we'll holler.